you know, just the thing is, the, the fact that none of the four of you feel like you owe our educators, our parents, our students, our community who pay taxes to be able to pay this, this, this contract out. None of you owe any explanation for why the contract, you're, uh, you're, you're having this contract be written like this. You know, you don't have to, you know, speak to just disagree. It would be helpful, I believe, if you spoke to say, you know, this is why I feel like it should be this way for this person so that the public could then say, oh, you know, that makes sense, you know, or they could say it doesn't, but at least you are being transparent. The things that people don't know, as, as it's been said by board members, you know, you don't know everything. It would be nice for me, but for sure, for the public to know why this is happening, why you feel like this is justified, why you feel like the taxpayers need to be okay with this payment getting made to this person. I mean, it seems cowardly behavior to not reveal why you're doing this and spending the county's and the, the school division's money in this way. I mean, I am terribly disappointed. If none of you speak, if none of you justify why this makes sense, then that means that you, you, you have something to hide and you really have no justification for this. Oops, sorry. And, and you have no justification for this because you don't even sit here and explain. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Sorry, my phone. Uh, you don't explain to people, you know, your fellow board members, why this is happening, you know, to, to our school division. You know, um, you know, for, I would ask Mr. Abuzmo, um to explain why these things make sense based off of the comparison of what we've done in the past and the comparison of job qualifications when there has been uh, uh, unrest by you about what a qualified superintendent was getting paid. I would like to understand why this makes sense to you, why you agree to this. I would like to understand, I'm not even going to ask Ms. Gillespie because cause she, she, uh, she came on the board at the same time as me. You know, you know, it would be nice for her to explain, but, but maybe she doesn't have an explanation. But I would assume that both Mr. Twig, I mean, like I only, without an explanation, I can only assume or know that the things that I have been told are true. And so that is, so then I understand that's his reasoning, unless he defends himself and says something different. So if he doesn't, then the things that I know to be true are true, and this is why he's doing it. For Ms. Phelps, um, it would be nice to know why this makes sense if we are supposed to be being a board that is you know, and especially, you know, from your perspective, when not when budget time came around, uh, you know, we needed to be very fiscally conservative and responsible and we couldn't ask the Board of Supervisors for need based budget and everything. But can you explain why this amount of funding for an unqualified superintendent is OK? It would be, you know, uh, again, if there is silence, then we only can assume that there was already a choice made and it really didn't matter and they have no excuse. Thank you for your comment. 
and your expressed opinions.